guys what is up welcome back and welcome to the channel so what we got going on today is i'm actually going to walk you through uh my system i have my f-150 uh, it's 212s uh run by 2000 watt peak 1000 watt rms uh amp all right give me just a second there we go and so this is the box in the truck i'll walk you through a lot more of it but um i'm going to go over today how i achieve the budget value so the amp was $112. The box, I believe at the time when I purchased it was around $100 and both subs were $50 a piece. So that's $300. So we'll just go ahead and say $350 and less. This is how you can get a, um, a lot of bang for your buck, if you know what I mean, guys. But give me just a second and I'll jump right into it. All right, guys, don't mind the dusty dash of the dirty truck. I haven't had time to detail it, but we are going to go ahead and go over. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and so my baseline is actually mounted in my Astro here. I'm going to go ahead and turn the bass all the way down uh, just so you can hear what my speakers and everything sound like. So, you uh, you know, I guess, base baseline of what the truck sounds like. So, we're going to go ahead and do this. That is just... All right, guys. And so that is just... Uh, I've got two Rockford Fonsgate door speakers. Uh, and two kickers in the back and so and the base i'll show you here on my equalizer is turned up to uh, i believe positive two so there we go got treble four base positive two and it is on loud which is kind of like the uh, power acoustics way of amplifying through the head unit whatever so we're going to keep this song playing i'm going to go ahead and turn our bass up <laughs> So I got everything set up. So um, give me just a second. I think y'all are really going to enjoy this. So I'm gonna go, I use this cap and I set it up here just to show the vibration, uh, how much vibration actually is getting sent to the truck. And I really think y'all enjoy this. So give me just a second. Sorry about that. Sorry, I cut the music off. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to step outside of the truck. I'm going to let y'all listen to what it sounds like outside of the truck. So keep in mind, I do have sound editor in this truck. It's not the full 80 mil. I believe it's 50 mil. Um, I think it's called Kill Mat, I believe. Uh, I'll post a link down below. Y'all can definitely check it out. Uh, super easy to do. I did it myself. Um, you just need to buy the sound editor and a little roller. You can roll it right on. So if you look at the doors here, so what I actually have is uh, from this corner all the way up, all the way and down on the inner door is what I have covered. Uh, of course, I couldn't really get down to the lower parts of the door just the with the roller, just the way the door was made. So not really a huge deal, but I don't have any on the panels or anything like that. I do have, there's a, a metal latch that runs for your door unlock. I do have it down that uh, on the outer door just to keep that from rattling, uh, which I don't know if it rattled. It never rattled before, which I didn't have as big of a system in, but I did it just precautionary. So let's get this playing. So I'm gonna turn the volume up back to where we had it. I'm gonna go ahead and press play. because they are they're pretty good mirrors they hold they hold in place pretty good themselves uh, and of course sound dead in the doors kind of helps out with that as well but so there's that uh, I'm trying to think of anything else i want to grab a sheet of paper like a mask or something and put it in front of the subs so you can see much <laughs> A 
quick look at what the subs look like. Um, so the only thing I don't like about this box is how these uh, the terminals actually mount up for the subs. I don't like them being in the middle. I prefer them to be toward the back since the sub is down fire or the uh, subs are down firing because I don't I don't know I don't it's kind of a uh, kind of a weird way to run the wires up to the front of the box when your amps behind the box. But that's my only complaint with the box so far. No issues with it. It is the it's uh, basically I guess it'd be the board and it's coated with a. Uh, basically what is bed coating these are two rockwood 12s i actually believe they don't make these subs anymore they have replaced them with a uh, it's black and blue i believe now um and they have a little bit more of a cone to them they're not quite the, as flat as those are so as you can and what i mean by that is as you can see these have hardly uh any i guess deformation to them with the cone so but we're gonna set this back down i'll show you how good it fits up under the seat give it just a second guys it's kind of hard to do holding a camera but you're taking you let your seats down and give me just a second i'm gonna walk over to this other side all right guys we're let this seat down you can just pull your box in smack around a little bit both seats are locked and that's how well they do fit under the seat so as you can see there's a little bit of a an overhang and I, I suppose you could probably uh, force the box a little bit further under the seats but I haven't seen a box for these trucks yet that fits perfectly up and down unless it's a custom box custom made and even then you lose I mean this box has hardly little to no airspace anyway just and that's only because of the amount of room that we have under the seats in these trucks uh, you can they make a, a seat lift I think it's one or two inch seat lift where you can put a little bit bigger box under them but uh, I mean, that's just not something I was wanting to do. I just wanted something just a little, a little bit of base, just good base, uh, decent base. But a lot of questions that get asked is if is the sub sitting on the carpet? I know that's kind of hard to see right there. So that's how much room, how much travel room the sub has, uh, sitting like that. All right, guys, just realized why I was editing it. I didn't leave y'all an outro. So make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you liked the video. If you did, definitely let me know. I try and respond to all my comments. So you can see behind me I'm editing this video. So, hey, give it a thumbs up. See you guys later.